What is going on you guys? My name is Mike. This is Wall Street Traders where we break down the most trending stocks using technical analysis to put you guys an advantage at the market. All right, so today's uh, stock that we're looking into is GameStop or ticker symbol GME. I figured this would be a great video to discuss since the whole GameStop craze has been all over the news. Uh, GameStop. GameStop. You GameStop in GameStop penny stocks, but I just figured that there's so many people that are trying to jump on the FOMO train, which I tell you guys not to do because that's how you end up blowing up your account. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do when looking at any stock is that we're going to start at a higher time frame. So using multiple time frame analysis allows you to see the bigger picture of the stock that you're looking at. So I have GME pulled up right here. Let me go ahead and zoom out as far as possible because we want to see the bigger picture. So this is down here. We can change the interview. I'm sorry, the intervals of the time frame analysis. So this is the one week chart. And then over here is the daily one hour and then goes all the way down to the one minute. So we're going to start with the weekly. And uh, from here, We'll zoom out as far as possible. All right, so now that we can see the bigger picture of the stock, let's go ahead and find our support and resistance lines. So, and how do we find our support and resistance lines? Well, we starting at a higher time frame, we find the highest and lowest points that have been tested multiple times. So let me find my little drawings. Where are you guys? All right, let's do, come on now our horizontal line and we can clearly see our resistance is around the 40 $40.55 cent area and we can test this you guys are wondering how I found this uh, in this general area let me zoom in has been tested generally more than three times so if you're finding a, a support or resistance you want that area to be uh, tested more than three times uh, the highest or lowest point so we can see let me zoom in oh that's a little too close about right here so down here we can see all these little candlesticks touching this area comes up comes back down testing this area comes up boom hits a it basically works as a roof once it goes under that support uh i'm sorry well yeah support because it's over here it's above but back here since it's under it's hitting it like a roof boom 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 but that's been tested tested come and then completely ripped from forty dollars to almost 483 so i know some of you guys are like oh my gosh that's some crazy crazy percentage moves and blah 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 uh let me tell you guys this happens on the daily this happens daily with penny stocks because they're so volatile and they're so easy to be manipulated that it's a very very dangerous game guys i stay far away from penny stocks because it's just gambling it's where majority of people lose their money and they just want to get rich quick they don't want to follow the rules and that's where you know they end up you know losing everything and uh not getting back into the market so now that we found our uh support in our new area which is over here we can see that this candlestick is testing it right here right we look to our left before before it was over it was hitting as like a roof and we come back over here i just want to make sure you guys understand this clearly we move back to the left it's too close so yeah i want to make sure you guys can see everything remember it's on the opposite side so it's a roof boom boom hitting this area multiple times so this was a good sign uh back in 2015 that it was trying to create a breakout like it did over here but then ultimately failed and pulled back probably for about a long long while all the way down to two dollars wow and then once it got down here it came back up and retested our major resistance area and then popped off so if i was to take this trade um, you know in hindsight if I would have had seen this I probably would have had put my uh, entry around this 40 45 dollar area and my stop loss 
back down here in the $30 area because you always want to use uh, money management guys if you not you guys aren't using stop loss and uh, targets you're setting yourself up for failure basically um, so ultimately what I'm seeing here is that it's testing our new or I'm sorry our support as of right now um, let's go ahead and zoom in So let's kind of just dis discuss on what exactly happened here so we had a breakout right here right and then boom we took off all the way up to 483 dollars within just three four days it went from 483 dollars all the way down to 300 dollars guys and then now we are at 40 dollars that's insane guys so what it's doing right now is testing the support what we're looking for is we're going to try to look for a reversal. Uh, so what you would want to see is a candlestick break above the $40 area, right? Maybe even over the $75 area, come up and then come back down and test in this area. Once we break those new highs, it's showing a reversal. Once you get a reversal, you'd want to put your entry in and around this area and then your target, of course, which would be your previous highest point would be your target, would be in the $300 area. Um, ultimately, what I believe is going to happen is that it'll more than likely, because these are pump and dump, I'm sorry, pump and dump stocks, guys. This happens every day. A stock will rip up 300, 400% and then do the complete opposite drop 300 percent if not more the next time and people usually around in this area are bag holding so if you're bag holding right now i'm sorry um but if it breaks below the 39 dollar area our next lowest point for you guys is around nine dollars that would not or $15 yeah that would not be fun for you guys so I just want you guys to you know be aware of the risks that you guys are taking when getting into penny stocks so personally I would not get into this stock per se until I seen a clear reversal of it breaking new highs coming back down like a higher low right a higher low testing new support in this area and then so let's just say if it if it does do that right and we are in the 72 73 75 dollar area put your entry around 75 dollars and then put your stop loss right below that guys so if it does drop if it does drop and uh you know it continues to tank you'll at least be tagged out and protect your assets and you know be done you know instead of it dropping and you guys are bag holding and you lose your whole entire portfolio uh, so you have security so you have your stop loss down here you get tagged in boom around the $300 area um, so that's that's just my quick analysis on GameStop um, if you guys like to gamble, then this is perfect for you guys. Uh, I just am trying to protect you guys from what a lot of new traders make mistakes in, and that is jumping into penny stocks. You guys, you guys just don't understand how volatile and whippy these stocks are. I mean, they can literally wipe your account out in seconds. Okay. Um, I really thank you guys for liking my videos and subscribing. Uh, I just updated all my equipment. I know I haven't made a video in a while. I have a lot going on. I'm trying to build a course for you guys so you guys can better understand and read these stocks, uh, these charts yourselves. Um, ultimately, though, if you guys subscribe, I will keep breaking down more and more videos as soon as possible. Uh, so if you guys can make that happen, let's get to 10,000 subscribers. And uh, you guys leave comments below explaining. Uh, what stocks you guys want me to break down? I am gonna probably be making another video today on Sundial, um, another penny stock, which uh, I may I may see a different light in. But uh, thank you guys for watching, 
and enjoy your Sunday. What is going See on, you guys? You guys? On My name is Mike. This is Wall Street Traders, where we break down the most trending stocks using technical analysis to put you guys an advantage at the market.